What's going on everybody? We are going bass fishing today. I am in Texas right now. Finally in Texas. This is my first Texas vlog uh, in a while. But uh, originally, as you guys know, the um, the bass are, are thinking about spawning right now. If you've been watching Rob and Rackley's and John's videos fishing here, they're starting to think about the doing, doing the old spawning thing. And so that's great. That's why I'm here. I'm going to spend a couple weeks here chasing after giant fish but unfortunately it is extremely windy today like 25 to 30 miles an hour and uh i have Peric's boat to work with which is his boat's great but as you guys know it, i mean it's just it's just like a little john boat so that plus you know wind plus like they're on beds and you gotta like hold the boat and position regardless my point being it's not gonna be super easy to bed fish today so what i'm doing instead is i like i said i I originally planned on hooking the boat up and going out to, to a lake, and I'm basically just going to lake hop the next couple weeks and, and just try to find some big fish, instead of doing that, because I know that's going to be super frustrating for myself, and you know if I don't catch anything, that's super frustrating for you guys, so what I'm doing instead is I'm going creek fishing, and uh, and this is a creek that I have not been to in a very long time. I believe John and I went here at some point last year, and uh, I caught some big fish, so that's what I'm going to be doing today is going creek fishing. It's something a little bit different, and then basically after this today you know the next week and a half or so is really good weather really good weather not a ton of wind and uh and nice and warm and sunny so that's what i'm gonna be doing the next couple weeks is actually bed fishing but today we're going creek fishing gonna be exploring and, I'm, and maybe this creek doesn't have any more fish in it i don't know i mean it's been literally months since i've been here so i might end up going to this creek and then maybe a couple different ones but we're just gonna maybe a pond but today essentially will be filmed from the bank no boat fishing today and then like i said the rest of the week will be boat fishing so that's ex essentially what i'm doing right now i'm gonna i'm gonna drive to the to the creek that i believe i believe i caught fish at last time but i do have a special important announcement about leukemia that i will get into when i get to the creek Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am uh, I am at the spot of near. Actually, this is a different area of the. Of, it's like the same creek, different area. But I was driving and I saw this and I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop here. We're gonna we're gonna try to fish. But anyways, about this whole leukemia thing. So the entire Guggen squad was challenged by Hector Optic Hex to do this. This is the lemons for leukemia challenge. Basically, what you do if you get challenged, you gotta take a bite of the lemon and it's to raise awareness for leukemia. I will leave the link down below if you guys want to donate bone marrow. It goes to a great cause. That's essentially what's going on right now. Is uh, is Hector? Hector challenged us, and how he got to us was this. I'd like to nominate Peter McKinnon. I don't have to actually finish this lemon. Do you like? I would like to uh, nominate Sean Duras. One new friend of mine, Hector. He runs Optic Gaming. Lemons for Leukemia Challenge on your YouTube channel. Get it. And last but not least, my homies, the Guggen Squad. So as you can see, it gets passed down from YouTuber to YouTuber. So now it's my job to challenge people. Now I'm going to challenge maybe YouTubers you guys have not heard of. They're not in the fishing industry. One is the Stradman. Now he is a friend of mine that I met in Mexico while driving all the trucks with uh, with BFG. I'm going to challenge you. And my other friend that I met down there was I Am Jake. He is also a vlogger. He makes videos living out of his Jeep. So the Stradman and I Am Jake. I'm going to challenge you guys to do this. Here goes nothing. Oh, wow. <coughs> I don't, I don't, oh God. I don't think part of the challenge you have to swallow it. <coughs> there, there's my uh, lemon fruit leukemia thing. Remember, links will be down below. Stradman, I am Jake, you guys are next. Let's, uh, let's go catch fish. All right, here goes nothing. Rocking two rods today. Oh, this looks way different. Whoa, this is weird. It's super clear. Okay, well, I think I fished. I fished somewhere way down there before, but I've never fished on this side. So we're gonna. This is like gin clear water. This is weird. I don't know if. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna be able to see me walking around or what the deal is gonna be, but we're gonna find out. Oh, it's super shallow. Okay, well, not. Not sure if any largies are gonna be lurking through this area. I'll make my way down here. This is like drinking water clear. So if there's a little spillway down here. That's kind of why I came on this side is I see a little spillway and that's putting oxygen in the water and that's just always a good thing. So if this whole thing is this shallow, it's probably gonna be not worth anything, but we gotta, we gotta explore. There's only one way to find out. That's to make a few casts. 
Oh, I see some bluegills. Okay. Okay. We're working with something. There's some gills. There's a, there's a bunch of little gills. Where's the largies though? If you guys are wondering, the two baits I brought, Chatterbait and a Stanko. Those are kind of my two go-to. I got at least a moving bait and then I've got a not moving bait, I guess. Last time I was here, I think I caught him on a Stanko. So that's why I brought that. There's so many bluegills in here. So many, this, this Senko should really do the trick. If I can get in front of a largemouth, I'm convinced the Senko's gonna do it. There's so many gills. This thing looks like a little gill, slowly dying, falling around. I just don't see anything moving. This water is so clear. I've got my largey lookers on, as John B would call them, and I just, I'm not seeing a whole lot. Okay, this is where it might get interesting. I gotta somehow cross this without, so I definitely just can't walk. Okay, all right. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to walk on the water, huh? How deep is this? Oh, well, this ain't bad. Well, all right, P to these shoes. Man, these shoes are toast after this one. Nasty. Okay, about halfway there. Oh yeah, my feet are just. Oh God, I screw it, screw it. These are toast. Yep. Yep, those shoes were, they were nice while they lasted. Oh, there's a large mouth. There's a large mouth. I see one. Okay, that's good. I think he saw me, so that's not good. I just saw one, though. That gives me confidence. That gives me confidence, folks. I got to be careful now, because if they, if that one skirted that quick, I'm staying way up here, as you can see. Let's see if I can get him to bite. I don't see him anymore, but I just saw a large mouth. There's proof there's bass in here. There's one, there's one, there's one. Yes, that's a fish. Oh gosh, that's what we came here for, boys. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. This is really what it was? It felt so much bigger. Hey, you know me, I come to Texas, I find these little buggers. That's just, that's just me. I'm known for, for catching the biggest fish in the freaking water. There we go, I don't even care, dude. I am happy. This little dude, he crunched it. I thought he, he felt big, he was swimming off. All right, Felipe, see you later, buddy. That's so weird. I was just about to give up hope and that dude crunched it. I mean, obviously that's nothing to be like super excited about, but the way he ate it, I felt one hard tick and then he started swimming off. That's usually a sign of like a big fish. Clearly it wasn't, but that is good. I mean, I've made, you guys I can't tell. If, uh, I don't know if you can tell how far I've gone. I mean, I'm, I'm parked way, way down there and I'm fishing this teeny, teeny, tiny little creek I'm trying to find some largies, which of all the lakes and bodies of water around around the, uh, the MTB crib, I don't know why I'm choosing this one. I figured it would just be fun to mix it up. You guys have seen me fish lakes and ponds and stuff quite a bit recently, so I figured, you know, let's let's go for a little creek action. And uh, I was rewarded with that little bugger. But that doesn't mean that's the only one here. There might be bigger ones. There's one, there's one, that's a good one, that's a good one. That's better fish. Come on, get up here, woo! Yes, yes! Oh, thank goodness. Look at that, baby. Look at that. On the stinking chatterbait, folks. That's what we're after, baby. God, he totally choked that thing. I mean, that's not a giant by any means, but that is a quality, lo this was probably, I don't wanna say this was the fish that I saw earlier, but this is about where I saw it. He, he's very long, but you can tell he's just not fat. So like from this side, he looks like he should be like, you know, two and a half, three pounds. In reality, he's probably right about two, but look at that. Oh, I love Texas fishing. They're just, these guys are just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful large you on the old chatterbait. I'm gonna say goodbye to you, buddy. See you later, Jerome. Whoa, Jerome's got attitude, boy. Oh, that makes me feel so good about my life. 
Oh, I'll show you guys what I was using, but yeah, like I said, the Chatterbait, the little bladed jig action, just the bluegill color. And this was right where I saw him. This is where I was talking about. I said, this is, if I think I'm going to catch a fish, it's going to be here because this is deeper water. It's muddier and there's vegetation. This is where I was talking about that. And I walked from down there down to here. And on my way back, I cast it right in this, right in this little pocket here. I'm sure the wind noise is great, but I was just bringing it right along these weeds, nice and nice parallel to it. The current is going this way, so I was bringing it with the current before I was bringing it against the current. Maybe it's a coincidence, maybe that the fish are used to seeing stuff go with the current, and that's why I caught that fish. I don't know, regardless, I caught the freaking fish. Woo! So excited, so excited. Over just a little guy, but just so excited. God, it's been so long. I'm trying to think when the last time I caught a largemouth open water fishing like this. I feel like it's been years. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you already know, but for those of you guys that are new, all of this rod, reel, line, lure, all the tactics of this rod, my other rod, everything, it'll all be linked down below. All my fishing videos have all my gear that I'm using linked down below if you guys want to check any of it out. Oh, oh, that's a bite. Got him, got him. Oh, that's not the one I'm after, but that's a fish. Okay, well, I'm catching the little squeakers on the Sanko today. That's good that I caught one, though. At least there's fish there. I don't know. I want the big mama. There's two, two good-sized fish, a little bit bigger than the one I caught earlier, the bigger one. I don't know where they went. I'm trying to hide from them, but this little dude decided to munch the old Stanko. Hey, I don't, I don't discriminate. I love all fish. All fish lives matter. Well, I didn't mean to do that. See you later, Daniel. There's a fish. Got him. Got him. Oh, got him. A little bit bigger. Not not what we're after. I didn't realize how many squeakers were in this little joint. I thought for sure these were only, you know, two and a half to three pound fish in here. I didn't realize all these guys, which is good. I mean, they clearly either got a spawn off. I don't, honestly don't know how fish are even in here. This is like in the middle of the city, but you know, I'll take it. That's on a, that's on a Senko. I haven't even moved spots either. I'm literally sitting in the same spot. This is where I saw the fish. I'm waiting for them to come back. So I'm just kind of fishing around a little bit, but that little dude munched it. Can't tell if I, he's been caught before, if that was just me, but I am so surprised there's this many babies in here. Bye Frankie. Well guys, again, I'm just using the old, the old Stanko, a little weightless action. I wish I had just a little bit of weight on it, but it's, I mean, it's still working. The, the old weightless technique is still working. Just chucking it up there. And the wind is blowing so hard, it's pretty much just drifting my Senko along, and that's, they're, they're biting it. I mean, they're not all giants, but they're, they're biting it. I can't believe there's this many fish in this creek. Like, if you guys could tell, but this concrete thing, I mean, they, they can't go anywhere that way, and then it ends over there. This is like just a like tiny little section of a random creek in Dallas, and there's bass in here. And actually, I've seen, I've seen a few good-sized ones. I'm having a hard time catching the big ones today, but they're here, which is just absolutely crazy. I can't believe there's this many fish in this creek. My theory on this is that the water is too clean on this side. I don't, like, that doesn't mean you can't catch bass in clean water, but they're way more finicky. The, the bigger fish that I caught today, I am totally an idiot. It's right there. I was literally just saying why I can't catch this fish. Come here, buddy. That was one of them. I, I was literally just explaining to you guys why I'm not catching this fish, trying to make up an excuse. And as I'm explaining, this dude crunched it. I, I, I shouldn't say this is it, but I'm pretty sure that was one of the, the the smaller of the two there was like a, it looked like a male and maybe a female or, or just two two smaller fish look at that i was literally just like oh the water's too clean so i'm not catching them this dude just crunched it you just got to cast at them seven trillion freaking times and they may eventually eat it but that's that's more what we're after again that's not a that's not a mammoth of a fish i know they look so much bigger in this water i'm, I'm probably thinking these are three pounders swimming around they're like there's like one and a half just a little little buckaroo but that's that's a good sign bye samantha Boom. Well, no more fish. But the day is not the day is not over. Okay, the day is not over. I'm gonna go back to the uh, the MTB crib and I've got a surprise for you guys. You're gonna wanna see this. Where are you at, little buddy? There you are. You're always in the same spot. You, you like that spot, don't you? You're probably hungry. Well, I can help you with that. Woo! Alright, here we go. This is this is the part I said you guys might want to stay tuned for. This is feeding Gary, our pet bass. He hasn't eaten. I fed him last night, but he's, he's I can tell he's hungry. He, he, this should be, should be pretty cool. Oh, he smoked it. Woo. 
Ooh, he's hungry. Let's see if we know him. Oh my gosh, he's so hungry. There he goes. Oh, oh. Is he, is he full? There's no way, Gary. I've seen you eat more than that. Go get him, buddy. Maybe he's just trying to swallow it. There he goes. Dusted him! Dusted him! At a boy. All right, last one. Here we go. Oh, oh. He's coming. Get him, Gary. Get him, Gary. Get him. Get him. Oh! There we go. Now I can see better. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Well, there you go. There you have it, folks. That's feeding Gary, our pet bass. He was pretty hungry. He just ate four goldfish back to back to back. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that, that's something you guys enjoy. Maybe I'll do like a, a live feeding Gary uh, at some point on my channel. Let me know in the comment section down below because I mean, it's obviously it's pretty easy for me to do and it's pretty entertaining for you guys, in my opinion, to watch this duty. You guys see how bass interact with, uh, with their bait. <laughs> but I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed something a little bit different you know a little creek action something i haven't done in quite a few months i believe but tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that and basically for the next like week and a half two weeks you're gonna see some lake fishing hopefully some bed fishing looking to break my pb this year in texas rob rob's caught a few 10 pounders which would break my pb here in texas so i'm looking forward to doing that hope you guys enjoy like i said if you did make sure you leave a like whether you like this or the actual creek fishing, let me know in the comments, but make sure you hit the like button regardless. And if you haven't subscribed, well, what the hell are you doing? You, you might as well subscribe if you like bass fishing. If you like bass fishing, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace!